takes care of uh, that aspect of it. Now, what I'd like to do now is, uh, I know we communicate a little bit, Brenda and I have, but I, what I want to do, there are, we'll keep yours, but if everybody could just pass one of these down, because in our policy manual, uh, and this is not something that uh, I, did, I thought maybe it wasn't going to do, but it, it alludes to some other positions that county boards, or at least in our policy manual, says that we, um, do I have enough there? Okay, but it, it identifies the, what we do at this uh, particular meeting. As you see down there under appointees under 0153, uh, it identifies the, uh, the RESA, the school board person, the extension service person. And on the next page, though, and these, you know, I know when I saw this, it was, was kind of, I wasn't aware of this being on there. But it also says that, you know, as you can see there, the, the general legal advisor and a legal advisor for these different areas, special education, school construction projects, bond issues, special levy election grievance hearings. So what I'd like for us to think about is, um, you know, if we are to do that, and so I think now we have people that are uh, law firms or in, that serve us in many of these capacities already. So maybe at our next board meeting, we could uh, maybe have that on there to act on, and in the meantime, maybe you know, you all can see who our current people are. That, uh, like our general legal advisor, probably Bold Rice on the Sunday. Uh, but just to, the formality of it all, we all can look at those and see if we have somebody that serves in each one of those capacities already with our school bond issue. I think you know, we have done, I, I, we've already done that one, so maybe if we could just do that, Chris, and then identify them, then maybe the next time we can formally do this as okay. part of our policy. That sound okay. All right, and once again, uh, Carol, we'll have to make a copy of that for you and have it for you maybe uh, when we meet on the 12th when we get our next meeting. Okay, um, the next item we have is the adoption of this 2012-13 board meeting schedule. We have an attachment on that, and I uh, accept the motion to uh, address that issue. So, Mr. McAllister motions. Second. Mr. Wilkerson seconds that. Okay, so we've had a motion and a second to uh, look at the school calendar. Is there any discussion about the school calendar for the coming year? Well, I would like to say that, um, you know, we have them scheduled, but uh, as you all have seen in the past, we may have had to reschedule or have additional um, meetings uh, to be included. I think we'd all concur with that. There are always times uh, things come up. Are there any other issues with the calendar that anyone has there? What you see? If not, I've got one concern <coughs> that I'd like for you all to consider or look at. On October the 16th, we meet in regular session. And then we're not scheduled to meet again on the proposed calendar until November the 13th. That's four weeks. And I know that the reason that it's been, that it's taken an additional week was because the, the general election's on the, uh, the 6th, I suppose. Uh, so normally we would have met on the first Monday of the 6th, but due to the election, obviously we couldn't meet. But it just seems to me like that we want to go four weeks there, and kind of what Trish just said. I really don't think we're going to be able to go four weeks without a meeting. Uh, there will be personnel items, and I know Bertie's going to be coming before us. So there, I, I'd like you all to consider two, uh, the possibilities of doing one of two things, if, if your choice, of course. It's one, that we don't meet on the 13th, but we meet on Monday the 5th, the day before the election, and then maybe move those LSI meetings, C meetings to the end of the month. That would be one option. Uh, by doing that, we, we will have had three weeks that have gone by, so that's three instead of four. The other thing that I thought about as I looked at was, what if we were to meet on October 30th and have an additional meeting, and then we would have had, uh, we'd be just adding a meeting. We'd keep the 13th meeting as is, but we would have an October 30th meeting, so have an additional meeting in between, and then we would have met every two weeks, not had that big span. Those would be two suggestions if you all feel that that's justified that the four-week period is too long but that's just 
those are my thoughts. I'd like for you all to give me yours. I'd favor October the 3rd, so. Of having an additional meeting. <coughs> I can balance that a lot better. Yeah. I mean, does anybody else have any thoughts? I mean, if, somebody, if you feel like it's okay the way it is, then I can understand that clearly. It just seems to me like four weeks is, is a long time. And, <coughs> I, I agree, Steve. I think that we need another meeting in, in there somewhere, and it doesn't matter to me, you know, where we put it, but I don't like going four weeks without a meeting. Yeah. But like I said, I know you may not be able to look for the same thing we're looking at, Carol, but um, like I said, with the election, if we put it on like the Monday, the 5th, we've gone three weeks and then had it. And then we're going to have one the following week. Um, but the other would be, like I say, just having an additional meeting to split the difference on the 30th and keeping that way we wouldn't affect the 13th meeting and go on a schedule. You know, we just have an additional meeting. That, would that sound satisfactory to you, Carol? Yeah. I'm staring at the phone here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Well, I when I wanted to shake your hand, Carol, but you <laughs> We're going to have to get... I could have patted the phone. Just Skype or something where we can send you over the October the 30th works best for us. Is that what you are, are you saying, uh, Steve, just to put an additional, believe October the 16th as well as November the 13th and just add one? Is that, that what you're that's saying? What I'm okay. saying that's one option that I see. Uh, okay. That way we would meet and then two weeks later meet and then two weeks later meet. Okay. And, but we'd be having, adding one meeting in there. But, uh, I mean, it's up to whatever you all think. But uh, if so, we we'd need somebody a motion to revise the proposed calendar. If that's what we're going to do. just add that date and then we can adopt it for this bill. You want to? Okay. I'll write it in and I'll just do the copy too. Okay. We'll just add that. Six right. o'clock at the county office. Yes, I think so. Regular meeting. Okay. Uh, Carol, we seems like what the consensus is that we would just have an additional meeting on October the 30th at 6 o'clock here at the county office. Uh, in that would just uh, maintain the 16th of October, then November 13th, and we just have one additional meeting. Sound okay to you? Carol? Sounds good to me. Okay, good. All right, so we've had discussion. If there's not any further discussion, uh, I would uh, ask for a, a vote on that. Signify by saying yes. 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 Okay. So that would be an all yes. Okay. Moving right along here. 